Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here with this morning update. We've got a shifting pattern out west, and it's going to actually set up into a pretty fast, significant northwest flow pattern for preferred locations. There's going to be some big totals. Um, the jet's moving north. There's a high-pressure ridge off the west coast it's trying to set up, so that's going to push the jet down into the northern tier as a northwest flow orientation. And some of these places are just going to soak up this flow with big totals and ring it out. And the northeast, two more storm systems coming. We'll look at those totals as well in this update. First off, uh, let's go down to Wolf Creek, southern Colorado, where it's snowing again. Another 10 inches in the last uh, 24 hours, so that's 66 inches in the last seven days. In fact, it might even be five days. Um, so this has been an outstanding pattern for um, southern Colorado, starting to make up for some of the, uh, the differences that we would seen play out over the season now, starting to catch back up down there. Um, looking at 233 now for the season at Wolf Creek. But now the pattern's going to be changing, and it's actually going to start to favor the central and northern mountains of Colorado with this northwest flow. So we'll look at that coming up. All right, here is... Um, this is a uh, water vapor and so oranges and reds represent dry air. So you can almost see and let me just put this on here You can see the northwest flow really starting to uh, Starting to set up All right, let me show you. So there's a high pressure ridge in here Right in there and so that's anchoring the jet pushing it up to the north and now you're starting to see this flow establish out of the northwest so what will happen is this high is going to retrograde and then that's going to set up a pretty solid northwest flow down through wyoming montana U northern utah and colorado as we head into the uh the second period um, just published my blog chrystomer.com please subscribe if you haven't it's easy just go to the end um, put your email address and hit subscribe and you'll get a confirmation and get updated anytime there's a, a new one and I try to do these every day. Fast Northwest Flow in WF type orientation. Um, take a look at that. There's the setup. There's the forecast pattern. Let me show you the jet full here. So this is 130. Significant Northwest Flow from about 124 to about 130. Then you can see the pattern is starting to shift with lower pressures starting to expand across the Pacific Northwest. Um, as the high retrogrades, it opens up this big trough across the Pacific Northwest, and that represents an unsettled pattern for a lot of the West that's going to start in establishing itself as we head into early February. So things are definitely going to be changing. We'll move into our Northwest flow and then an open trough across the Pacific Northwest into early February. All right, let's talk about timing. All right, let's go into the forecast, uh, radar and satellite. So here is Saturday, and Saturday night, there's Sunday morning. Everything's coming out of the Northwest. There's Monday morning at six. There's Tuesday, next wave drops down a fast jet. Here comes the next one on Wednesday at six. You can see the, there's another one on Thursday. So you've got mul another one right there. Uh, you've got multiple disturbances riding this fast Northwest flow orientation and it's all targeting the same places. Montana, the Tetons, Northern Utah, the central and northern mountains of Colorado will get several different waves of uh, precip and energy, um, aura graphics. All of this will line up to produce a pretty big event for a lot of the West. So that's forecast timing. All right, let's go into forecast totals here. And we'll do this in a few different phases. Here's phase one across the West, all of today through the 23rd, very light. Again, we're not quite into the pattern. We're just starting to see it establish itself. But in Colorado, you can see one to four inches. All right, now here's where it really kicks in. This is the second period, 124 through 130. Um, you've got big totals, a couple of feet there through Big Sky, Discovery, Snow Bowl, Bridger Bowl, and potentially four feet in the Tetons. Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, again, there's probably five different waves of moisture or energy that will uh, lift orographically over the Tetons. A couple of feet there for northern Utah. And in Colorado, the central to northern mountains, you're looking at anywhere from one to three feet of accumulation with this type of pattern. Again, it's very efficient. And with this, you're looking at good uh, ratios. Everything's just setting up nicely. Let's just hope it stays that way. All right, let's move into uh, a specialty map I have put together here for today. Um, this is Colorado, the central to northern mountains, a grand total map all of today through the 30th. It's basically what I showed you with the two maps combined, but you can see the numbers anywhere from one to three feet, maybe even four feet. 
look at Buff Pass. And Buffalo Pass, a Cameron Pass, Steamboat, almost always ring out big totals with this type of setup. Vail can do well, a couple of feet. Um, Long's Peak will probably get a couple of three feet. So you can see the potentials here to really get some big totals. All right, let's move into the northeast. Two more storms to go, potentially another one, maybe two feet of snow. Somewhere in between, probably most likely. Um, but you can see the numbers are not quite as big as what I was showing two or three days ago. But this is the way it looks now with the two lows kind of skirting to the south as open waves. So let's just see what happens. Obviously, we're still looking at things far into the distance and there may be changes. But that's the way it looks at this point. Let's go back to the specialty map. This is where we'll end. A lot of places are going to be um, seeing big powder. The 124 period through 130. So I'll keep things updated here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate it. Take care.